Hi, I'm Gwen Schoen, food writer for the Sacramento Bee, and today in the kitchen we are learning how to sharpen knives. And with us is Chef Sean Menard, executive chef at Chop Steakhouse in Sacramento. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us, when you're, when you're shopping for a new knife, knives are very expensive. So mm -hmm. what are you looking for? Um, well, you know, like you said, knives are very expensive. So what you want to do is you want to find a high-quality knife that fits your price range. Uh, this is one of my personal favorite knives. This is a Shun knife. It's a Japanese construction. Uh, very um, hard steel, holds an edge very well. Um, this one runs about $200. And remember, you do get what you pay for when it comes to your knives. Um, this second knife, this is a Wusthof Grand Prix. This is a six inch chef's knife. It's also a multi purpose knife like this. This one has a lifetime warranty. Mm -hmm. If you break it, you can send it back to Germany and get a replacement. Um, this is a very high quality knife, very popular on the market as with professionals as well as amateur cooks. Mm -hmm. um, this is another model that they make. Um, they actually make all these blades with two different types of handles. This is the classic series. It has a riveted handle, a little bit smaller, fits your hand a little tighter. Mm -hmm. um, this one is used for carving poultry and mm -hmm. for slicing. Then we have another knife. This is a Japanese vegetable knife, and it's made specifically for vegetables. And it has this, it's called the Granton Edge. And those scallops are so that uh, high starch foods such as potatoes and sweet potatoes don't stick to your blade while you're cutting mm -hmm. them. This one has an er ergonomically shaped handle, just like this. Very high quality steel, maintains an edge for a long, you know, very long time. And these will give you, you know, in, uh, in an, the home cook, you can probably get 10 years of use out of these knives. Now, now how the knife feels in your hand, is that important? That's the most important factor. Like I said, it's all about what fits your price range and what feels the best in your hand. you got to go with how the handle feels in your hand, the balance, the chopping motion. Okay. And you definitely don't want something where you're going to be knocking your knuckles on the board. Oh, that's a good tip. <laughs> so uh, when do you know when it's time to sharpen the knives? It's time to sharpen your knives when uh, you, know, you can't get through the simple things like a tomato skin or mm -hmm. a, uh, a lime. And to sharpen your knife, just simply take it, get a normal steel, and you want to hold it at a 45 degree angle. And what I like to do is I like to take it and I'll do it four sides on this side. Four strokes here. And then take it down to three. And then two then one. And after that, you should have a perfectly beveled knife. Now, you can use that same technique for sharpening something like this that has the texture. Yes, plate. you can. There's another type of knife, though, that has a very extreme bevel on one side and a slight one on the other. And for that knife, what you want to do is you want to sharpen five times on the side with the bevel and okay. once on the side without. Okay. And you don't want to sharpen um, the knives that are serrated. Right? Actually, you can, but you want to take those to a professional and have them done professionally. Okay, great. Now, what about these little gadgets that you can find at the grocery store and houseware stores where you just sort of drag the blade through? They're a great gimmick, but they actually do more harm than they do good. They take off so much steel that they'll shorten the life of your knife by okay. probably, you know, a year within six months. So you're better off using your steel. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, thanks, Sean. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. It's very helpful.